Hey guys, welcome back. Here's that video I was promising. We got Pokemon Wizard, criticized by many, a much requested whatnot streamer breaker who uh, who has done and messed up. In my opinion, this is my opinion. My videos are always my opinion, but it looks like, in my opinion, we have another case where whatnot is going to have to mass refund people. Yeah, we're, we're dealing with one of those again. So it, it shouldn't surprise anyone that uh, anyone that's doing crazy breaks, doing crazy auctions, doing giving away crazy prizes, in this case, just opening crazy boxes at auction, which not super sustainable when you don't have a Logan Paul big dick super advertising and stupid companies buy your packs for too much money because they want to have their name on a giant stream. Chances are you can't be selling Watsy stuff galore so let's quickly take a look at the, the previous thing i know there's a lot of like whiz whiz jizzlers who were in the the previous video in the comment section saying no pokemon wizard would never rip my dick he totally pulls hollows all the time guys can i please just again if if a, if a scammer of this sort is even remotely intelligent they're not going to have a box that's filled with non hollows so I'm going to show you why this is sketchy. I mean, this is sketchy to begin with. We're going to watch this clip. We have stuff going off screen. Doesn't need to go off screen. Diddling that doesn't have to happen with the rocket packs. And then we'll get into the new stuff. So if you want to watch the previous video, yes, it was very long. Yes, it was a lot of speculation because that's what we have to do here. We have to speculate a little bit because unless you're wizard or wizard's person that's standing next to him or wizard's stepsis uh, who is in in on all the secrets you probably don't know exactly what's going on here but we can definitely we can we can extrapolate all the crazy things that can possibly be done here there's probably a few uh, but let's watch the video we'll talk through it what's going on here but the the as soon as something goes off screen especially something of this value it should be immediately whatnot refunds back and left it's on for the side good luck back left Shloop, she gone off screen and then why is he why is he playing with this stuff for no reason he made it worse so it's off screen then he's cutting the top off wait left three whoa 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 whoa, 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 whoa. no he's gonna put it back okay put that right back left three. so the order shouldn't really matter either oh shit. The order shouldn't matter my bad why is he playing with this stuff so much he's got to put left it back three one two three guys I know you didn't mean it, Migs, but chat, just wait until they say it because I'm moving fast and I'm a little slower than most people, so. Mm. Fair, fair. Left three, you good, Jax? <laughs> All right, buddy, so good luck. The, uh, the highest bids, I'll, there's the leaderboard right there, and I'll show you the bid prices here in a second. The chopping the top off. The chopping the top off thing could be like if he's going to reseal from the top, then he might want to cut that off and not provide it to the customer. Yes, I know people might want their packs cut like that. I, I, most people do not cut the tops off the packs, especially you would think if you're a professional Pokemon card opener that you would be able to open a pack without demolishing the thing. Uh, and if he doesn't provide the top of the pack, if that's where it's glued, if that's where it's heated up to seal it, uh, then no one ever gets to see that evidence. I don't know if he actually provides the, the top flap. Does he give you the top flap? Anyone that purchased from him? Could you please let me know? That'd be much appreciated. But now that we have a, a recap, again, stuff going off stream. Yes, it, it's weird. It's weird that he's like so uh, making sure everything is there, that it's in order, that he's grabbing certain packs. I, again, because if if he knew which packs had the good stuff in it, he could make sure that people, certain people, bid on certain packs at a certain time. But again, we're, we're going to have to figure out how does he know which pack is which. And if he's pulling something off screen, uh, is he is he quickly weighing it and swapping it out with a, a a substitute pack? Is that what's going on? Or he's checking if it's heavy or light? There's a lot of there's a lot of strange things that could be going on there. Uh, but the evidence that we're going to take a look at here today is going to kind of put us put us right around the uh, the right track in the right direction. Uh, to um, I I'm gonna say that uh, in my opinion this is this is some shenanigans. We definitely have some shenanigans going on. Stay, stay with me here. We have a juicy little clip here. So what do we got on screen? We got a Blaine's Charizard and we got a Dark Charizard. Both first edition and both sets that have been opened by our boy Pokemon Wizard. Uh, so it's weird that uh, your new background that he's going to tell us all about here in a second is uh, it contains two very, very great super duper condition cards. 
Uh, you would think that he, he was opening his own product. If he was opening his own Gym Challenge first edition or Team Rocket first edition, that he would create some kind of content out of that, You right? Did he pull these? Did anyone see him pull these? No? No one? He didn't? He didn't pull, maybe source them from somewhere. Uh, it's weird that he's he's got access to all of these very mint cards, uh, but uh, doesn't seemingly open any. Uh, I don't know where he's buying these from. If he'd like to explain where he's getting these from, that would be much appreciated. Uh, also, important little thing to note before we take a look at the clip uh, is the fact that the recent Rocket Box uh, did not contain any Dark Charizard Hollows, at least when he opened it on stream. Whether it did before that or not is uh, to be determined. I guess we can uh, we can take a look. We can make a little bit of a guess. I would say that this probably came out of that box. Uh, if I was a if I was a betting man, that's probably what I would bet on. But let's take a look at the clip here. You guys like the new background? What's good, Jay? How are you, buddy? How have you been, buddy? Good to see you. So surely, surely he wouldn't be so brazen that he would he would take the biggest hits, the most minty of mint hits, the the zards, all of the all the juicy, all the juicy out of the box, uh, and then uh, maybe reseal it, maybe sell the box with without those juicy hits in them. Yes, there are. There's going to be hollows in there. I know everyone's screaming right now. They're like, no, they, there were hollows. Well, there were. I think there was one or two missing hollows. One, at least one missing hollow from the rocket box break. Uh, now, it, again, even if he was going to take out a dark Charizard, he could insert another hollow. Just find one that's near mint that doesn't look like it, you know, was rubbed around on a desk or something. Blame it on poor quality control, some crap like that, and voila, you got a, you got a, you got a dark Charizard for free, free tendies. Well, I guess the price of whatever you substitute it with. Um, but I, I know we're gonna need more evidence to be able to tell you, be able to tell that hey, this is what's going on, um, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna look at just that. Okay, now here it is. Here's the bombshell. Here is why I believe that our boy, Pokemon Wizard, is resealing these boxes before he breaks them for people. Taking the big the big boy juicers out of them and, and resealing this bad boy harder than ever. Let's, let's watch just watch the clip. I'm gonna play this through probably a few times because you guys gotta really pay attention. Uh, take a look at the pack. Look at look at the bottom of the pack when he takes it out of the box here, uh, and the fact that he tries to hide that the uh, the pack isn't uh, isn't exactly doing what he wants it to do. I try to crack it to where I can keep most of the seal on it. All right, ready? Make sure there's no go go crazy bones. Oh, Chad. Watch this pack. See how that pack was open on the bottom? And then he tried to hide it. Pushed it back in there as quick as possible. Again, if you're checking the seals on these things, that's not what you're doing. Not to mention the fact oh that... Oh my goodness. Let's get that out of the way. Get, get, get that out of here. I appreciate that, Ahmad. Even then, a little bit sketchy on that. Let's let's watch it through one more time here. Keep an eye on the Misty Pack. I try to crack it where I can keep most of the seal. Okay, so here, where he says, I'm going to try to crack it where I can keep most of the seal on. He could easily have this open on the bottom. You notice he never shows the bottom of the boxes, of the sealed boxes. At least not when he's cracking this bad boy open. He's always going to cut it around the top because he wants to keep the seal. It could be easily cut open on the bottom, taped up. Heat it up so that it's sealed, so that he just slides it around on the table. He does; it doesn't even leave the table. You would think you'd do a 360. Look at how pristine the seal is. Look at it. And you don't even need to fake seal it at that point. You just cut the bottom open like one of those cereal boxes. You know the ones where you pour the milk in. You do little little crisscross, flaps open, pour the milk in. Same thing. So only cutting it here. Probably open on the bottom with the seal. If I had to guess, that's, that's again, in my opinion, this is my guess. This is what I'm going with. Uh, but the fact that he doesn't see that the pack is wide open on the bottom of the Misty. 
I tried to crack it where I I'm not buying it. Seal on it. All right, ready? Make sure there's no go go crazy bones. Oh, Chad. All right, give us that misty pack. Bring it out. There it is. All right, show us. Show us how. Look how open it is on the bottom there. He's just kind of pushing it back in. You're checking. You're checking to make sure there's no go go crazy bones, but you don't see the wide open pack, and then you just conveniently shove it down there, and then you're kind of afraid to touch the the surge too much. Again. Oh my goodness! Oh, put the articuno over it. Put the articuno over it. <laughs> oh my I god. That I don't like. I don't know, guys. Is is this gonna be the same thing? How many how many big streamers are we gonna have to go through here? Like this in itself, along with the fact that we're gonna take a look at all the cards, all these mint cards that he happens to have. I I would be so surprised if he's not cutting the bottoms of these boxes open, taking out all the big hits, resealing the packs. I mean, he, he he's weighed packs. He weighs packs. Uh, he was weighing them for customers, so he could weigh out the heavy packs. It's weird that he finds he finds it difficult. I think there's another clip of that coming up, but he's weighing packs, which is fine if you're going to weigh them. But you disclose that they're weighed. Uh, that's kind of what you have to do in this time and day and age, whatever. Uh, but he can open all the heavies. If there's a big boy banger in it, if there's a, a rocket zard in this rocket box right here, wow. That is pretty sick. You just pull the Charizard out. You put something else in. Or if he was missing hollows, you say, oh, well, I guess maybe it wasn't It wasn't a super duper box. It didn't have all 12 because it is possible to have less or more than the 12. It usually always 12, but it is possible for that to vary. Again, it's, it wasn't perfect. The, 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 I guess, seed rate wasn't perfect. But the, that's that's what we have here. And then also, if he's offering to uh, either rip or ship, you could have some people that, you know, maybe they maybe they don't open their pack. Maybe they don't know if it's a hollow. If he doesn't offer to weigh it, maybe people don't, you know, they're not going to collectively get together uh, and, and, and discuss whether they all had heavies or lights or whatever to do the, to get the final tally. And even if it's off by one or two, you can just blame it on the box. You can blame it on, oh, it's just a bad box. It was just a non-12er. That's what's going on here. All right, one more clip before we get into the loot. The loot that he's acquired, probably by, you know, snap, snatching them out of these boxes. Again, guys, just because there's hollows, just because of anything else, just because it looks legit, doesn't mean it's legit. There's signs here. Yes, is he the worst gamer of all time? And is he doing it right in front of you? Not exactly. But if people are watching enough of this stuff, if we catch some uh, some sketchy behavior, again, it's all recorded. It's a shame that Whatnot doesn't allow you to watch things that are more than six months old, because then we could find even more examples of him doing this. But again, I think this is blanket. This is blanket refund. Whatnot. This is blanket refund. If you want to play the collect fees on these people and kind of turn a blind eye to reports and everything else. I know he's been reported a lot. I can only imagine how many reports Whatnot has if everyone and their dog is telling me Pokemon Wizard is sketch. Can you catch him? Can you catch him doing something sketchy? Well, yeah, we did. We kind of did. We kind of did here. Now, uh, here, here. Okay, so let's say he doesn't go through the extra steps of taking a hollow and replacing the Charizard that he pulled out of a pack. Again, this is all hypothetical. Innocent until proven guilty. I don't know. Here, let's just watch this clip. Maybe for bags or something, but I did get confirmation that you can ship out sealed packs from Box Break. So you do have the option to ship chat. There's no rip price or ship price or whatever. Uh, when you win the pack, you can do whatever you want with it. Rip it, ship it. I don't have a weighing just because it takes a long time to weigh every single pack out. And last time I weighed, the weights were actually kind of weird to where people got upset with me for weighing because I thought the light ones were heavy and vice versa. So, but no matter what, you have the cho choice to ship or rip. Just want to make that clear in the beginning. All right. So, bullshit. Full bullshit. Because Wansi, for the most part, if you have a sealed box of it, very, very easy to tell the difference between heavy and light. Yeah, if they're loose packs, sure. If they're hanger packs, if they're in some kind of other product, yes, okay. They're they're a little bit they're difficult. They're definitely difficult. You should still disclose the weight. But the large reason why people usually take the contents out of these expensive boxes, weigh them all to make sure there's twelve heavies in there instead of, you know, 
pulling a pack out with a misty on it, the bottom being wide open and then trying to tuck it in and hide it away, is the fact that they, they want to prove that it's a real box. They take a look at the actual seals. I mean, you can't take a look at the seals if the seals are already opening on you. You don't want to You want to get that off the screen as fast as possible. You want to slap an Articuno over top of it so that no one sees what's going on. But here, the fact that he's saying you can rip it, you can ship it, then how do you confirm that there's the 12? Or at least that there's usually the 12. If he's opening all these vintage boxes, all these Watsy boxes, there should be 12 most of the time. That's how the boxes work. That's how they're supposed to be seated. Yes, there are exceptions, but it's not going to be every time. And is he relying on the fact that, hey, some people are going to not have weighed packs uh, and they're going to have them shipped to them. He's not going to weigh them. Is it by design? It seems like it. Again, the off-screen thing, the weird stuff that's going on here, like there's there's absolutely no, in my opinion, no way that there's not fishy things going on here. But in in my opinion, I think it's it's clear as day uh, that uh, that these boxes here have been tampered with on the bottom, on the bottom, that big hits are being taken out, and we're gonna take a look at the big hits that were probably taken out. Yes, it's that easy. Okay, first off, let's take a little a quick looky roo. We got five stars, so that's trustworthy, right? You gotta believe the person with five stars. They're definitely not ripping you off. Blake was a superstar in the NFL, and he definitely was not ripping you off when he was in the NFL. And then after he wasn't in the NFL, this whole team of rippers were not ripping you off. They were just ripping and shipping. It's different. It's totally different. Now, Pokemon Sky Ridge. So we, we get a little taste for what's coming up here. We got a Sky Ridge box coming up. Very cool. We can go to past shows. We can give it a little scrollerino. We got, oh my God, that's a lot of first edition Watsy. This is like the, the G-Baller sets. And we can see uh, there was Team Rocket as well. But again, it would be nice if we could actually see everything that's going on here. We have the graded stuff. Likes to grade with CGC. Um, nothing wrong with that, I suppose. Again, we got the uh, gold stars. Charizard, Ray, holy moly. So again, uh, whether he's keeping these cards or whether somebody's winning them, whether he's selling them off separately to double dip seems like a, a common theme. You gotta you gotta maximize your profit. Uh, unfortunately, maximizing your profit is not cool if it means that you're ripping people off that are buying into your box breaks. Now, uh, he is banned from from Instagram. You would think that he would have made a new Instagram. I don't know what the reason was for him being banned from Instagram. Uh, I personally have been have had my account temporarily shut down. It did come back. It took a few months. It was a pain in the ass. I, Instagram sucks. They can suck a fat wiener baby dick. Um, but at the same time, um, still, we've got to take that into consideration. It, again, if he's making these purchases, he would be growing. He, he, you would think that he'd be he'd want to, to grow a following of some sort. Uh, now, these little babies, these babies are the smoking guns. So we got the cert numbers on there, the CGC cert numbers, which are conveniently, uh, with that submission, all going to be in a row in numerical order. Thank you very much. Again, if you are one of the people that is hiding the cert numbers on your cards, it's either sketchy or you're dumb and you don't realize that that's not a good thing to do. Uh, if you're buying, selling, whatever, you, you want to not do that. Don't do that. Please, for the love of God, don't do that. Next. All right. So you're going to say, Rattle, yeah, he did the rocket break, but where did he do the first edition break? Where, when did that happen? Well, guess what? We're going to send him a message and we're going to ask him when he did first edition gym challenge last. And yes, it was on an alt account. And yes, he did answer. And he said six to seven months ago, which is convenient because that's just outside of the window that we'd be able to watch the clips. We're well, not the clips, the replay from whatnot. Thanks, whatnot, for making sure that we can't see anything beyond a certain point. It very much helps all the scammers on your platform. Now, we got the Blaine's Charizard. So what happens if uh, after the Blaine's Charizard, we keep adding or removing a number from the cert? Well, we're going to go from, let's start with the Blaine's Charizard. Now that we know that he opened first edition gym challenge, I'm assuming that there was no holographic Blaine's Charizard in that box. If anyone was part of that break and would like to reach out to me, please let me know. Because this is probably what was supposed to be in that box. Now we have a Blaine's Charizard. Blaine's Moltres. Ooh, tens. Man, those are some minty cards that you're getting with no real kind of explanation of where they came from. If they didn't come out of the box, because they weren't in the box, because you probably took them out of the box, then were these were these taken out of the box? I think they were probably taken out of the box. Because, I mean, you couldn't purchase them back from your from your buyers, from your pack buyers, if they were never in the box to begin with. So... 
I, I'd love to know where he's finding all these mint Watsy first edition cards uh, that uh, all happen to be from the same sets that he's actually doing breaks on. And they all they're all the like the top hits. So I mean, like if you're if you're looking for juice, I mean, uh, I mean, what are you what are you looking for in fossil first first edition Gengars probably? Uh, we got the um, we got the Moonbryon, the OG Moonbryon. Yeah, that's probably one that you want to take out of the box before you do a break. We got the Dark Charizard. Again, this is the the same Dark Charizard. So now we've gone through all of the ones in between. Uh, CGC. Thankfully, the, when when you have a submission, there's nothing on either end of it, so we can actually see the rest of the cards in there. Again, Celebi. It's probably a card that you're looking for, especially if it's come, gonna if it's gonna come back a ten. You got to get that bad boy. How about a ten Crystal Lugia? Anyone did anyone participate in a an Aquapolis break from our boy Pokemon Wizard? You probably would have had a chance of getting this. We got a Celebi from Sky Ridge. He's got another Sky Ridge Bronx break coming up. What's he gonna take out of that one? Is he gonna take anything out of that one? To be determined. Let's find out. So with the the crystals, uh, with this kind of thing, um, is he swapping one in? This one's only an A5, but maybe it just got. I mean, it's got a little, it's got a little whitening on the on the corners there, but potentially straight out of the pack. Ooh, this is a big one. So if you were in a previous Sky Ridge box break, probably the previous one, the last one that happened, the last one that he did, uh, then uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to say that this was probably in there. We have a reverse Charizard Pristine Ten. So again, even if he takes the crystals out and wants to replace them with other crystals, with the lesser value crystals, with crystals that are not quite in as good a shape as the ones that came straight out of the packs that he probably looked through beforehand, we got a Crobat crystal. Oh, it only got a nine. Again, these are all, it's weird. It's all boxes. It's all the top hits from the boxes that he breaks. And even then, if some people are keeping the pack sealed, guess what they can do? They can claim, oh yeah, well, the crystals are probably in there. Right? Misty's Gold Duck. Again, we got the, we're into the gym sets. Sabrina's Gengar. Again, if it's just mint enough, then it's probably worth keeping it, selling it separately. Keeping it as, as the background. Sabrina's Gengar. Again, another top hit. We go, oh, what do you got to do? What do you got to do with jungle? Evolutions, evolution, evolution. Charizard, first edition base. I don't know if he did any first edition base breaks um, or not, but uh, these bad boys were submitted as well. A 10. It's got, a, it's got some whitening on her there, but you know what? Maybe, maybe they're a little bit more lenient with that. Maybe it just didn't get the pristine 10. We got a 10. Huh. Oh, we got to we got the shadowless we got the first edition now lugia was he doing neo was he doing neo breaks again very expensive lugia in a high grade uh definitely something that you would want to take out of the box if you were doing a break on those uh same with our t17 here I'm not saying that uh necessarily uh the the first edition or the shadowless were from a break if he did a break if he did a break, they were probably from the boxes. If he didn't do a break, maybe he picked those up separately and submitted them with the rest of here. So, Shining Charizard. Whew, did he do a Neo Destiny break? So, I, uh, the customers, if you guys want to reach out, uh, his customers, his box break customers, if you can tell me, again, you're, you're going to pull a Gold Star out. Gold Star probably being, like, the easiest thing to pull out of a box and not replace it because you, if it's one in three boxes... Then like you do, oh damn, our box didn't have a gold star. Damn it, guys. Oh no. Ray, very expensive card. Even in an 8.5. That's a clean 8.5. I mean, probably straight from a box. Metagross. You just pull all the gold stars out, right? Free gold stars. Charizard. Nice. Mudcap. Sweet. Mew. Nice. Jolteon. Wow. Again, probably out of a box and not one of the, uh... Guys, I don't know what to tell you. I, th this is what I'm seeing. Let me know what you're seeing. Um, the fact that he's grading all the things that could have been potentially in the boxes. The fact that he doesn't show the bottom of the boxes. The fact that he just conveniently ignores the fact when a, a pack pops open on the bottom. When he's doing a, a check for this stuff. I, I think this is exactly what's going on. Again, it's my opinion. Again, the, we're, we're gonna. I would love to see more footage. Whatnot is probably going to cover this up just like they did with a lot of the other stuff. Uh, let's see if they take action on this. Let's see if they go or review the footage. Uh, but if I was I, one of the customers that was buying from, uh, from our boy Pokemon Wizard, uh, I would be pretty livid at the moment because um, 
it, it looks a whole lot like he's taking the cards out, selling them separate, and yeah, you're getting you're getting dicked on the box break. Thanks for tuning in. Again, if there's more, if more comes out, we'll make another part uh, to the Pokemon Wizard situation. We need more footage, whatnot. Where's the footage? You should make it very accessible to everyone that wants it. That everyone, everyone that wants to take the time and effort to go through and look at this stuff to make sure that people aren't doing bad things. And it looks like we have another person doing bad things. Come on, whatnot. If you want to, if you want to be a platform, if you want to soak up fees for all of these transactions, you have to make sure that your customers are buying uh, in a safe method. You have to make sure that if there's anything fishy going on, like what we're seeing here. Everyone from that box break with the open bottom pack that he was trying to hide. Probably trying to hide. Take care of each other out there. Friends don't let friends buy on whatnot. Join my Discord. Open your own packs. Even if you want to open expensive ones. Come on in. Happy hour on Saturdays. It's a blast. Open your own packs there. Guess your energies if you want to guess your energies. We can pretend that you win $3,000 worth of stuff. See you next time.